Queen Elizabeth II, 95, is well known for her love of horse racing and her passion for the sport is discussed at length by Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, 73, in an interview which has been shown in snippets throughout ITV Racing's coverage of Royal Ascot this year. But despite the five-day racing event being the Queen's favourite engagement of the year, she has missed the first three days. Ladies' Day at Royal Ascot is always a spectacular affair as visitors don their best hats and outfits for a colourful day out. In previous years, the Queen has shone in an array of striking outfits at Ladies' Day where she has presented the prestigious Gold Cup prize. However, this year Princess Anne, 70, stood in for the Queen and presented the trophy instead. Last year Royal Ascot was closed to the public and the Queen missed it for only the third time in her lengthy reign. There were high hopes she would attend all five days of the event this year as up to 12,000 visitors have been allowed in every day. While Buckingham Palace has not confirmed the Queen's Royal Ascot plans, Royal Watchers and racing fans will have been disappointed not to see her there on Ladies' Day. Touching on the Queen's absence, Commentator and Royal Ascot veteran Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, This year, as Ladies' Day comes to a close, racegoers have much missed the Queen who places such value on Royal Ascot because of her expertise in equestrian matters and passion for the turf. Mr Fitzwilliams added, Today it was the Princess Royal who presented the Gold Cup, Royal Ascot's premier race. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, the Earl and Countess of Wessex and Mike and Zara Tyndall have also attended in the three days so far. Next year the traditional royal carriage procession will return and hopefully all coronavirus restrictions will long since have been lifted, which leaves the Queen free to entertain in the royal box as she chooses. Although the Queen's Ascot plans have not been confirmed, earlier in the week her racing manager John Warren hinted she would attend at some point. Mr Fitzwilliams added, Hopefully she may, as her racing manager John Warren predicted, attend on at least one of the remaining days of this year's royal meeting. If the Queen skips Royal Ascot this year then hopefully she can attend next year as she celebrates her Platinum Jubilee, Mr Fitzwilliams said. The commentator added, if not she can look forward to next year's event which will fall in the month when her Platinum Jubilee is celebrated. Whilst she has been absent, other members of the royal family have attended, as royalty always adds a special cachet to racing, which is rightly termed the sport of kings.